It's the rumor report. The Breakfast Club. Well, let's talk about the iHeartRadio Music Award nominations. Now, Cardi is up for more than a dozen trophies, so congratulations to her. Shout out to Cardi. Invasion of privacy deserves it. Yeah, so we'll see what happens. You guys can also vote. You can check out the nominees and vote um, as well. Go to iHeartRadio.com slash awards to start that voting process. And trust me, there's somebody out there right now that's slow that's saying, how she up for all these awards and she ain't put no music out yet this year? Oh, like they don't know it's from last year? Yes. Okay. Well, let's see what you guys think about uh, some of these nominations. What is the hip-hop song of the year? All right. Is it Drake with God's Plan? Is it Cardi B? I like it. Drake in my feelings. Drake, nice for what? Or Post Malone featuring Ty Dolla Sign Psycho? Lil Duval Smile Bitch. And I can't believe Lil Duval Smile Bitch is not nominated. I heart y'all are slacking. But which, okay? of, which out of those would you say is the number one hip-hop song of the year? None of them. I told you what the hip-hop song of the year was. Mm. Actually, the hip-hop song of the year would be Travis, Mo- Travis Scott and Drake Sickle Mode. All right, but, for- but the iHeart is probably basing it off uh, airplay. Now, for Hip Hop Artist of the Year, mm-hmm. who do you have? Cardi B, Drake, Kendrick, Post Malone, or Travis Scott? Got to go between Drake and Cardi to me. I'm, you know, I'm picking Body all day. All right, all right. Well, make sure you guys go ahead and vote. Who's so this Post be- guy you keep talking about? What songs does he sing? I like Post Malone songs. I'm not gonna. You can't oh, find a- Post Malone. Okay. Shut up. Yeah, stop, this stop guy's it. Crazy. He's already going through things and doesn't want to be picked on in the new year. You know. All right, now let's discuss a uh, um, potential movie that you might want to see. I know you guys are going to be scared about this, but Amazon did greenlight a Jordan Peele produced documentary series. Guess who it's on? Who? Lorena Bobbitt. If you don't remember who she is, well, here's a little snippet for you. This was a modern <laughs> love story. He meets a girl. Snippet. Boy falls in love with girl. Boy marries girl. Girl cuts off boy's penis. What did he do to make her do something like that? Mm-mm-mm. That was a, a little snippet. snippet. Stupid. Listen, uh, Jordan, uh, well, that's what well, he sent it out. He sent out big old scissors for the us promo. What you gonna I send sure. out for Lorena Bobbitt promo, Jordan Bill? Those same scissors. The same scissors. Yeah, he sent us big golden scissors I, for the us. Uh, but I thought they were rusty. Movie. This should be very interesting um, because there was so much media coverage at the time. They're going to have some clips of new interviews that touch on the alleged abuse <laughs> that she suffered within the relationship, the trial, and how it still impacts media today and how she was discussed in the media. So, um, you know, should be, I think, really interesting. I think these people are doing documentaries on things that they know would have gone super viral back in the day. Like, if there was social media around when Lorena Bobbitt cut off that dude's penis, it would have been everywhere. So I think they're just going back just to see how Twitter reacts to this stuff. All right, now, I know y'all want to hear about this. Oprah Winfrey and Gail King, they're talking about what it is that they do. They give some dating advice on how to keep things spicy in the bedroom. I would say... You do costumes? Once I tried... You play nurse and he plays bad doctor? No, no, no. Okay. One, once I tried, <laughs> once I tried this, this is so many years ago, and I got the whole negligee thing, and I'm standing at the stairs when he comes in, and he literally comes in, Stedman, walks right past me and says, what are you doing? <laughs> I got one better. Wrap myself up with saran wrap. No, you put, didn't. Yes, I did. Put on the trench coat. He came on with, ta-da! And he went, what is that? <laughs> so that's not good for your ego. So I would say... Ask him yeah. what would be spicy. For, I can totally understand why you would walk by your girl if she was wrapped in saran wrap and yeah. say, what is that? Like, like, I you can, wasted I, I, the whole roll of saran wrap. <laughs> yeah, it, has no, it has nothing to do with, oh it, with you. It has to do with the fact you're covered in saran wrap. <laughs> well, first of all, I'm always running out of saran wrap at home, and I would be so mad. But why saran wrap? Why is that Why is that sexy? Like, what, do you, what happens after you're wrapped in saran wrap? Do I bake you? Like, what no, do I do to you? What, cut put it in little, the fridge. Cut a little hole. Cut a little hole. So you can breathe. Oh. <laughs> what were you thinking of? 
I was trying to figure this out. I'm like, cut a little hole. I was, like, where are you cutting a hole? I was yeah, curious. I, 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 was, I was trying to figure out why that would be pleasurable. So she's covered in saran wrap. I cut a hole in the vagina. I don't know. Like, why, hmm. That's not, it is a weird that's like, that, thing. I don't know what the let me. Why not that. just be naked under the trench coat? Why saran wrap? Yeah, that would be like humping your grandma's couch that had the plastic on it when you was growing yes. up. And the, the couch, you know, you know, everybody had that grandma house you go to, mm-hmm. and she don't want you to sit on this furniture. She had plastic all over it. That's like humping that. Look, if now, you're in I'm, looking on, I'm looking on Glamour.com, and they said this is a nice kinky sex move that he'll love if you wrap your man up in saran wrap. And she said, I cut holes to let his nipples out, and the sensation was amazing when I rubbed my fingers across his skin. Plus, when the saran wrap was peeled off, his skin was ultra sensitive. Well, at nah. least it's not aluminum foil. It could have been aluminum <laughs> foil. So you guys should try that. Wrap him up like a mummy. Nah. Nah, I'm cool on that. Mm-hmm. I'll pass. That's just a waste of saran wrap. How are you going to be telling people to go green and recycle and all kind of stuff if you're just wasting saran wrap, wrapping your body all in it? Well, yeah. I'm sure some people have tried it out, so if you have, tweet me and I'll retweet you. Drop one of Clues Bombs for Gail King. No, Gail, fine. <laughs> Don't let nobody tell you different. Okay? And Oprah. Oprah, fine, too, but Gail, fine. All right. Now, Shaq uh, was discussing what really touched him about uh, making him feel like he should pay for a Jasmine Barnes funeral. Now, uh, he's not the only one who made sure that everything got taken care of. And we've been talking about Jasmine Barnes a lot during Front Page News, a seven-year-old who was killed in a shooting that they feel like was a mistaken identity. Uh, Here's what he had to say about why he felt like he wanted to make sure that he actually contributed. The pain that the mom had to go through, and I saw at the end that they were raising money for the funeral, and, you know, with with something that terrible to have happened, I don't want people to have to worry about trying to raise a few thousand to pay for a funeral. So I'm always in Houston. I've been living in Houston for 20 years, so I just thought it was the right thing to do. All right. Dropping the clues bonds for Shaq, damn it. Well, I'm Angela Yee, and hey. that is your rumor report. Saran wrap costs $26.28. Where? You must be thinking about doing it. Why'd you look up the price? Saran wrap does not cost that much. Why'd you look up the price? Googled, I just yeah. Googled Saran wrap, and that's the first thing. Right. Amazon.com, Saran premium wrap, 100 square foot rolls, pack of 12, oh, you about $26.28. To have some fun tonight. I see you. You about to have some fun tonight, all right? No, hell no. I'm I not. That's rich, that's, first of all, that's rich people problems. $26.28 for some Saran wrap? Absolutely not. That can't be right. My goodness. Is huh. that right? I don't know. That's not right. Saran wrap is not that expensive. All right. I don't know what Saran wrap. Maybe you're looking at some like industrial size. Okay, on CVS it says two dollars ninety nine. Yeah, what were you looking at? I don't know where you would get it ripped off. That was on Amazon. Jeff Bezos must be jacking everything up because he know he' about to lose half his fortune. (laughs)